In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pen Fathom 40 NLD2. This is, in my opinion, Pen Reel's best bang for the buck. I'm going to go over all the technical data on this reel. I'm going to go over my reviews, my thoughts, my pros, my cons. And I'm also going to show you some really neat video on how we employ this awesome reel here in New Jersey. So check it out. Okay guys, let's take a closer look at the reel. Again, this is the Pen Fathom 40 NLD2 on Pen Reel's website. This retails for, I believe, $299.95. Uh, I've seen it on sale for a lot less at different distributors. Uh, again, in my opinion, for this powerful, light, compact reel uh, that packs a lot of punch, that's very versatile, that's an excellent price and it's going to get you doing uh, a whole lot of different types of fishing with just one reel. Now let's go over some of the features here, okay? So super, super smooth free spool. You can see that'll go forever. You can see inside the spool there's line counter rings, which is kind of neat. On the side is your clicker. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And Super nice, loud clicker. I really like that for... You know, when we're going ahead and, and chunking for tuna, that alarms us when, uh, you know, we got a runoff, okay? Okay, so the side plates as well as the uh, handle here are die cast aluminum, which is pretty neat. Uh, nice big handle, nice big football knob, so when you're going ahead and fighting those fish, this really fits easily right in your hand and you can grab it pretty quick, um, so that's nice. All right, now on the side here is the, on the side is the two-speed feature, so Right now I'm in high gear, that carries a ratio of 5 to 1, and all i got to do is click that button, and I'm right into low gear. So that carries a ratio of 2.5 to 1, alright? So now I'm taking up a little less line per retrieve, but it's a heck of a lot easier on you, and it gives a little break. And then all I have to do to get back to high is just twist that knob, and there I go. I'm right back into high, so pretty cool. Alright guys, so let's move on to some more specifications uh, as well as some of the uh, internal specs. So with regards to drag, so you're talking about 23 pounds of drag at strike and then way up at full, you're actually talking about 40 pounds of drag. So this lightweight reel packs a heck of a lot of punch. Uh, if you need more than 40 pounds of drag with this reel, then honestly, you're in trouble. Uh, with regards to line capacity, so I spool mine typically with 80 pound uh, braid. I use non hollow core Jerry Brown. Uh, I'll, it holds 565 yards of 80. Uh, there's going to be a picture up above for um, the capacity for different uh, line ratings, both mono as well as braid, but that's just what I use it for. I'll typically spool this with about four to 450 yards of the 80 pound braid and I double Albright that to a usually 60 pound Mamoy top shot and then I'll, I'll tie on my rigs from there. Now moving on to the internal gears, I'm not going to take this apart, but uh, it's all lightweight stainless steel internally, so the gears, the pinion gear, all lightweight stainless steel and that helps add to that real lightweight um, feature of this reel. Uh, and then with regards to the drag system, so again, it packs a huge punch. It has the new Dura Drag washers, so the same washers that and drag system that they use in the Penn International. So uh, again, this sucker packs a big punch. Guys and girls, so just my final thoughts on the uh, Pen Fathom 40 uh, two-speed lever drag. So um, overall, guys, this is an excellent reel. I have really put this thing through the rigors uh, for the last four seasons, I believe, up here in Northeast New Jersey. Um, it's done everything I've asked of it. We have chunked yellowfin and bluefin tuna up to 70, 80 pounds, uh, and we've beat those fish up in no time. The really light weight, so the power to weight ratio in this thing is awesome, um, and the fact that it's so light matched up to that, that Penn Carnage 2 jigging rod I have out in the garage, it really means that you know, you're, you're fighting the fish. You're not fighting that, that heavy international, so that's... Um, Super cool. I love the, the loud clicker. Uh, to be honest with you, we don't really end up using the two-speed mechanism all that often, but it's nice to have. Uh, sometimes we use it when we're you know deep dropping for tile fish, but for the most part when we're tuna fishing, I find that you don't need it. We're beating these fish up uh, in no time, so the angler really isn't uh, all that tired. Um, overall pros, my number one pro, I love that it's black and gold. I know that sounds silly, but all my international combos are for the most part black and gold, so it matches up real nice. I love the light, 
lightweight um, nature of it. I love the line capacity. Oh. Overall, the, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Um, the only real con I can think of, uh, there's maybe two. I, I probably didn't need the 40s, um, but I, I like that, you know, I just get that little extra line capacity. But I, I could have gotten away with probably some of the smaller models. So if you don't want to spend quite the 299 I bet you could probably get away with um, some of the smaller models. So definitely check them out. Um, the only real big con is I, I don't like the, the real seat mechanism. I've just had these little tiny, you know, see, see how flimsy they are? Not flimsy, but you know, it's just the, I, I can't describe it, but the way that the real seat goes on the, on the rod um, and the, the way that the screw in mechanism is, um, it doesn't let you get it all that tight or, or the bolt actually starts to bend. So I've had them loosen up a little bit. Honestly, that's really my only con. Um, overall, this sucker has been absolutely awesome for us. So if you're looking for a reel that you can get started with chum and chunk and tuna or other big pelagic species, uh, or again, deep dropping for tile fish here in the Northeast, check out the Pen Fathom 40 NLD2. All right, guys, so just to end off the video here, I just want to give you some really neat footage from late fall. I believe this was October 2016, where we used the Pen Fathom 40 NLD2 to beat up some big bruiser fall yellowfin tuna. So check it out. Also, guys, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that bell so you get future notifications. Both my boats are going in very shortly. Much more fishing action to come. So check it out, guys. We'll see you. Oh, there's another one right there. There's fish in a slick. Pretty sure, yeah. All right, just watch that swivel, all right, eh? Remember, don't don't get that swivel into the rod tip. All right, stay right there, eh? Oh, here, watch your head. Stay right there. Good, good. Stay right there, bub. Here it comes. I got him. Got him? Right. Yeah, we got him, baby. Yeah. Is that whale shark hey, still there? Right, come grab this molly. Is that whale shark still there? Yeah, I'll get him. Is that whale shark still there? Uh, yeah, get him, Josh. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Tune in the slick. Yeah, you work on getting that hook out. And honestly, I would say just, I'd say just get that hook out and just throw it right in the right in the cooler so we can get fishing because this is our time. Really? Okay. Here, use that one. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. See ya. I'm gonna try a squid. Just keep chunking, baby. All you gotta do, keep chunking. We'll get him. Oh, there's the whale shark. Yeah. There he is. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, put him in there. Are you kidding me with that? He's bled out his. We just gotta get him out of the way, you know? I've always heard about these canyons that the whale fish are right with the elephant. The whale shark. Yeah, you need to get in that cooler. Wait, well, how about if we cut his head off? Josh, what if we cut his head off? Let me just throw my in here. Okay, go ahead. Are you straight down to Uh kinda of, sorta, of, yeah. I have a I have a free floater squid. Yeah, there's fucking I saw the yellow. There he is. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Wow! Look at that, dude! Oh my god, I hope he doesn't hit this line. I hope he doesn't hit this line. Oh, it's gonna be gone. Look at that! This is what we wait all year for. Whale shark, holy shit. Alright, you're too young to back be hurting, boy. Just take your time, you'll get him. You gotta use that. Uh, the black magic belt, dude. You fight from you fight from your legs. It's awesome. I see him. Yeah. I think we'll get that fish on that corner. Yeah, 
Yeah, keep chalking. That was a smaller circle. I got him. I got him, baby. Yep, I got him. No, I think I got him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Yes. See if I can fit him. Sometimes with the brine, you can kind of squeeze them, you know? Yeah, you want to pull some more out. Yeah? Alright. Oh man, that... These Mahi are also going to be so cold. You know what I mean? They're... Yeah, they're so cold already. Okay guys, just one last thing I really wanted to mention. I have no affiliation with Penn whatsoever. Um, this is not an affiliate product. I'm not making any money off this. I don't want you to think I'm just trying to sell you a reel. Uh, this is my honest review of this reel uh, over the last several seasons. So I hope you enjoy it.